We're looking at some of the actions that we can be able to take in our lives so that uh, we can uh, move closer to our purpose or maybe you can propagate the purpose itself or we can stay online, stay on course as far as this purpose is concerned. We are living our lives in different contexts at different times, in different seasons and each of those contexts and times and seasons require us to apply ourselves differently and therefore there are different types of actions that we can be able to take and that's what we've been discussing in this episode. I came up with about seven or so types of actions that we need to take in our pursuit of purpose and uh, I've been looking at some of them one by one and today we are going to continue doing the same and look at just one more. We've done quite a bit. Look at one more even as we started winding up this uh, series. Uh, Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Obviously, we'll need to start with a small recap and tell you that when you know what to do and you don't do, the Bible says to you, it is a sin. If you know what you're supposed to do and you don't do it, it is sin. And I'm saying that because we're living in, in, a, in a dispensation where knowing what to do is not necessarily a foreign thing. I know it's a controversial thing to say because at times you need insight more than the knowledge that is available off the shelf and all over the place, just as cheap as anything. In this world, in this dispensation today, there is a lot of knowledge available. And even by extension, there are quite a number of mentors and coaches and even friends and uh, people that can actually guide you and lead you. They, maybe there could be no excuse for us to take action, but the action that we take is what is going to shape the destinies that we are following and the purpose that we are trying to be on course about. It is about maximizing our potential. When we're maximizing our potential, it is about the kind of actions that we take. You don't maximize your potential by doing nothing. You don't maximize your potential by learning. I know that's controversial. You don't maximize your potential by absorbing a lot of information, insight, and analysis. You maximize your potential by burning the fat of the potential, and it's only done by taking action. If you're a speaker, you speak. You're a writer, you write. You are a dancer, you dance. You're a singer, you sing. You are a footballer, you foot the ball. (laughs) You You get the point. You play. You're a runner, you run right? You're an accountant, you do whatever it's supposed to be done with accountancy. Therefore, there are different types of contexts in actions that you can be able to take. And the first context we talk about, we talked about was when you are afraid. All of us come to the level or to the point at which we are afraid or are scared. What do we do? We take action. Secondly, the kind of uh, context that uh, you need to do is research. Why do you need research? You need research to gather more information so that you can act on it. The Bible tells us that faith without action is dead. And I can add that knowledge without action is also dead. Take action. In other words, research and have this information. Why are we doing researching? We are researching so that we can know where to act. We know how to act. 
which kinds of actions will be effective. So number two, do a research. Number three, what do you do? You mastermind. What is masterminding? Coming together with two or three people to talk about, not just to talk about, but to exemplify, take action on one cause, one purpose, a common good, uh, something that all of you agree on and you must finish it. And then yesterday, we talked about prioritizing. Action number four, the type of action that you need to take is to prioritize. You make things aligned and you get disciplined and you order your steps so that you can maximize the time. I've said it very many times in these episodes that there's nothing like time management. You can't manage time. You don't own it. You don't create it. You can't manage it. You manage what you can own and what you can control and what you can create. The only thing you can do with your time is to prioritize activities within the time that you've been given. You cannot create more time, so you cannot manage it. You cannot chuck off time, so you cannot manage it. You only manage your activities, and that's why prioritizing is important. Today, let us close this episode by talking about number five. What you need to do in order to gravitate closer to your purpose and to exemplify your meaning in life. Number five, tracking. I alluded to this in the episode yesterday. What is tracking? Tracking is going a step further than the prioritizing that you did. It is a step further than the action that you took. It is number three, because number one is prioritize. Number two is take action. Number three is track the action that you have taken. Of course, number four is is, uh, reviewing and all that stuff. Uh, but I don't want to talk about that. But tracking, okay, let me just lump tracking and reviewing in one boat. Tracking means you said you're going to do A, B, C, and D in this week or in this day or in this duration of time or in this season. And therefore, when the season is closed, you go back and review what you said you're going to do how you did it, you see how best you did it, how you churned it, and how successful you are. Whether you did it or not, that is the point of tracking. And of course, tracking also enables you to get deeper into the reasons as to why you didn't do it in the first place. You will not succeed without doing tracking. You know why I'm saying this is important? Because all of us have this this propensity of setting goals and New Year resolutions and dreams and wishes. All of us are at par when it comes to dreaming. We all dream, we all wish, we all desire, we all set the goals. But tracking is what separates the successful people apart from the crowd, from the rest of the crowd. Because the trackers, they are the guys who know what progress they are making towards the goal, towards the vision, towards the determination that they had at the beginning. You know how many people, how many hours you spent reading about your purpose last week? Do you know how much time of action you have accumulated about your purpose pursuit. Whatever it is that you are passionate about, do you know how much time you've spent? Do you know what percentage of living by design? Living by design is taking action on the things that are connected to your desires, your goals, your purpose, your passion. Do you know what percentage of time you've spent living by design this week? as compared to living by default and just letting the month go. How, what percentage have you attained this this month? You will not know the answers to these questions if you have not been tracking yourself. So tracking gets to be a daily thing that you and I do. And how are you going to do the tracking? You get the goal, you divide it into milestones, and every milestone is divided into a task, and the task is given some kind of momentum by the actions that you take. Some actions are supposed to be taken on a daily basis. Some are supposed to be taken on a weekly basis. If you're going to be successful, make sure that you have some non-negotiables that you're taking action on, even on a daily basis. So there is, should be a very small, tiny, minute interval between your actions. And you're going to do this by tracking those actions. Do you know when? Do you know what? Do you know who? Do you know how much? And so on of your purpose, of your pursuit. 
of course you have no clue about all this stuff if you are not tracking them and i have come to realize that the personal tracking mechanism is one of the ways that i keep myself inspired it's arduous when you're beginning but it is so inspiring to look at your charts your daily charts and you see yesterday my non negotiables were done 100% today it's another 100% the following day is another 100% and this week out of 7 i have done 5 there are two weeks to go i mean two days to go but i'm on number 5 100% done i am tracking myself this is the kind of action that is so important that there is no organization worth its salt that doesn't track its progress you can take that to the bank there is no big multi billion dollar organization that doesn't track itself and i cannot believe how people can live a trackless life it is mind boggling to me as in you are the crown of creation god created you and put you here but you are living an untracked life it is absolutely mind boggling so tracking helps you to take action more than anything that, that I, i ever know and uh, this is the kind of action number 5 that you and i are supposed to take with our lives tomorrow we are going to start winding up this until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.